Okay, folks, so you'll recall not too long ago, I signed up for a right-wing dating app. It was called The Right Stuff. Now, I'm a little bit frustrated because it's invitation only, and I still have not received my invitation yet. I don't know why they are uh, not accepting me. Perhaps they will, and they're just dragging their feet. Either way, there are some individuals who did get accepted, and the number one complaint, seemingly, is that um, there's just dudes on it. <laughs> there's, there's just dudes. There's no, there's no women on the site. Uh, so Matt here shared some of these reviews and I have more that I want to look at in a moment, but, um, overall it has a 2.1 out of five rating on the Apple app store. Uh, but let's look at some of these reviews shared here. So, um, let me bring it down. It's a good app, but there's no women from Douglas Roop. <laughs> Oh, what did you expect? What did you expect? What did you expect, folks? What woman is going to seek out creepy conservative men who are hyper fixated on masculinity and traditional values and they want a traditional woman who's going to be shoeless in the kitchen cooking? Did you really think that they would be enticed by the idea of exclusively finding conservative men? <laughs> Come on. So this person says, I love my country. I love the Second Amendment, and I love God. Uh, these days, it's hard to find a woman who values my patriotism. Hmm, I wonder why. It seems like, you know, conservatives are a bit fucking strange. My faith. And um, and so, after being ghosted by every match on Tinder, I wonder why, I decided to give this app a try. I created a profile, uploaded a selfie of me sitting in my truck with sunglasses. Is there a, an American flag behind you? Because if it's missing that, then I don't think it's going to fully um, exemplify American conservatism, but I digress. Uh, it worked great. The interface was intuitive and easy to use, but the weird thing is I couldn't find any women on it. I don't know. Maybe the app is bugged. I don't think it's bugged. This might be a troll. I have a feeling this is a troll. Um, maybe the app is bugged. I tried switching my preference to men just to make sure it was working and loads of handsome men came up. I hope the developers fix this. Okay, so one thing that I've got to say is a little bit surprising to me is the fact that he was able to switch his preference to men. So on this conservative dating app, they're woke. They're allowing the gays on it. They've gone woke. So no space is safe for conservatives. If you were, will allow the homosexuals on this app, I'm sorry, that's not a true conservative dating app. Next review. It's unsafe. This is a one star from Brad E-N-W-H. I answered the question about January 7th. <laughs> That first sentence is a banger. I answered the question about January 6th, honestly. And the next day, I have two police officers at my door telling me that they got a call alleging that I was involved in domestic terrorism. The app was clearly created by Democrats as a way to subvert our constitutional rights. As conservative Americans, do not use this app unless you want to be harassed by left-wing fascists. Scam. This is from Human Bisexual. Not really the target demographic that I have in mind when I think about conservative dating apps. I'm your average conservative who just wants to find someone with the same views as me. Uh, not, none of that pronoun stuff at all. But I was surprised to see that this app is actually more liberal than I could imagine. There are conservatives out there who aren't Christian. I hate this app. Hilarious. Uh, I guess it's just men then. Okay, bye. Gay men. Plenty of fish here. <laughs> no women on the site. <laughs> I love that there's they're all saying that there's no women on the side. <laughs> I love how this person's like, hey gay men, lots of men for you in here. Uh I don't think that any any gay man, any self-respecting gay man is gonna find himself on here, okay? Even Christian Walker is not gonna be on this app. Okay, let's get to some more uh reviews here. Don't bother until they get rid of the invite only. Uh, I went to check out this app. Honestly, why make you go through so many steps and be almost done? Uh, and it says invite only. Um, so there's that. I think that's a legitimate complaint, but I do believe to the app's credit, it's still like in the early uh, early process here. Um, socialist app in wolf's clothing. I, I don't get this one, but I saw this app advertised on one of my uh, trusted conservative news channels. My wife passed away two days ago, and I think I've... Okay, this is a tr this is a troll, but we'll, we'll humor them. My wife passed away two days ago, and I think I've mourned long enough. 
she would want me to be happy and get back out there on the dating scene. So when I saw this right stuff stuff that was about dating stuff, I know I had to jump on it. Much to my disappointment when I signed up, I realized it's invite only. How am I supposed to marry the next woman of my dreams? Preferably, she has a great life insurance plan when it's invite only. I did some research and found out why. This app is actually funded by Bill Gates. Uh, dun, dun, dun. What happens is they take your photo and information and store it in a database that will be used in the future as a way to identify and exterminate all of us conservative Christians. Love this idea. Not a fan of the invite system. Still gave it four stars though, Caddy. Um, where was I? Oh, okay. I didn't start reading it. I just read the, the headline. Okay, so I love the idea and set up the app, but the whole reason I wanted to get this app was because I don't know any conservatives in my area and wanted to get connected to them. But because it's invite only, I cannot use the app. You and me both, Caddy, okay? I signed up on stream a couple of months ago. I still have not received my invitation. Maybe I should like re-sign up. I don't know. Left on invite. Invite only. I understand why the app is invite only, as liberals can't seem to grasp the concept of human decency. Okay, this is not a troll. Uh, but at the same time, it completely defeats the purpose of creating easier access to like-minded people. Leaving your supporters on an invite required screen can be a bit condescending as well. Other than that, it's a great concept. Relatively new as well, so I'll continue to give it a chance. How is it condescending, though? You can say that maybe it's inconvenient to have an invite only thing, but how is that exactly condescending? They're not like, they don't know who you are. They're not being directly condescending to you, Bill 2002. They're not like, ooh, we don't want Bill. We're better than Bill. They're just like trying to weed out the libs who, let's be honest, well, probably the lefties, who are trolling the fuck out of them. Okay? And I love it. Invite only, LOL. Waiting to get approved by invite. I would like to leave a review, but... I think it'd be a minor miracle if I could remember my password. I think maybe I should just, let me just sign up again, okay? Maybe I will use my Futbucker69 email, give that a try, because I do want to make sure that I have a good chance of joining. What is this? No, I don't want to see an article. I want to get to the, hang on. So the very first thing that comes up is an ad by the dispatch as opposed to the actual, and you have the right stuff anime coming up beforehand. Okay, I mean, they should probably fix that. But is this the website? No. This can't, this looks like a web 1.0 site. Is this, there's no way. Hang on, that's, there's no way. Okay. Not a chance that that's it. Okay, let's try again. Date right stuff? Is this it? We should see Kaylee McEnany's sister. That's not Kaylee McEnany's sister. Who's this? Conservative young women and wanted to get their honest opinions about what they're looking for in the guys they date. No, okay. I think this is the website, but according to the reviews, there are no women on this website. So these are all hired actresses. Okay, this is fake. This is a uh, fake news. What are you looking for in a partner? I'm looking for a man who's going to call me a cunt and force me to make him a sandwich because I really like traditional values. So I hope that I can find a conservative like that. I'd imagine if they're being honest, that's what they'd say. <laughs> they're actually looking for a conservative man. I want somebody who's a misogynist who's going to call me a bitch to my face and treat me like shit because I believe in traditional conservative values. They just have to be a conservative. Definitely someone that wants to have kids. I like an independent man. Personally, I like the alpha male vibe. I oh, alpha. Know... <laughs> this cannot be real. This is. <laughs> I gotta go back. To... They're not. There's no. Okay. <laughs> this, can't... this can't be real. Stop. I want a man who's independent. <laughs> I want an alpha Beta. I can't handle this. This is killing my brain cells. <laughs> what are you looking for in a partner? They just have to be a conservative. <laughs> just say something. I don't know, a conservative. <laughs> Definitely someone that wants to have kids. I like an independent man. Personally, I like the alpha male vibe. I want a man who really loves his family. 
It's definitely someone whose faith is important to them. <laughs> For me, it's someone who actually wants to meet my parents. <laughs> Why do you want to date a conservative? For me, at least I know that we're going to start off with some shared values. Well, the conservative men I've dated at least know how to treat me like a woman. In my hmm. personal experience... Then why... why did, wait, why didn't you lock it down then? Why didn't, <laughs> why didn't they marry you? If they're so good, why didn't you stick with them? Hmm? Hmm? A little bit sus. Conservative guys have better manners. I like that they understand their role in the relationship as a man. What... what wait... What, what does that even mean? I, I genuinely don't know what that means. I just prefer my men to be masculine. And what's the biggest red flag when it comes to dating? A Democrat. No Democrats. A Democrat. Can't be a Democrat. A Democrat. That's easy. A Democrat. No Democrats. So no. <laughs> Find the right match. Download the right stuff today. Please let me sign up. Y you have to let me sign up. Please, I'm begging you. Okay, let's, uh, I don't want to download the app, but I want to, uh, can I just sign up without downloading it? Yes. Okay, subscribe. I don't know if this is going to let me in. I don't, see, I don't want to download the app because then they're going to be tracking me. God damn it. The price of trolling. Okay. <sighs> name. What should the name be? <laughs> Conservative Brad. First name conservative, last name Brad. Email address, that's easy. Futbucker69 at AOL.com. Password 4269. <laughs> LOL. Okay, I just signed up. So they're going to keep me in the loop. And look, if you want a real alpha on this dating app, let me in the right stuff. Otherwise, you're just going to see a bunch of conservative women unsatisfied by a bunch of betas. This was the original hey. with uh, Kaylee McEnany's um, little sister, Al older sister. No, I think it's her little sister, but um, yeah, let's. let's Guys, I'm Ryan. I've got to tell you about something I am so excited to announce. A dating app for all of us conservatives. It's called The Right Stuff, and it's launching this September. What I love most about it is that it's invite only, so not just anyone can join. First oh, of all, like a it's- feature. The feature is that it's invite only. Uh, doesn't seem like people really like that though, because um, hey they're not guys, able to get I'm in. Right Stop, it's, I was trying to pull up my Chrome browser so I could see the, uh, use my extension to see the dislikes, but it's it's not working. Use. For my ladies, you'll never have to pay because we all get premium subscriptions for simply inviting a couple friends. Gentlemen. Women get premium subscriptions and there's still no women on this app. Love it. Th this, is, this is beautiful. If you want access to premium, that's on you. And by the way, those are the only- Maybe if you wanted to um, beef up the alpha males and get more women in, you would admit my Futbucker69 account because I will create an alpha male chad. Uh, profile picture and um it would be great mike you posting a thirst trap on your profile pic oh without question without question for sure i wouldn't wear this shirt of samus metroid uh, shirt super metroid i wouldn't wear this because i don't think that conservative women would value a masculine man like me who's an alpha at video games uh but what i would do is absolutely I i'd get my so I don't know if you guys remember the picture that I took with my VR light gun. I'd get that because that is, you know, to hold a gun, even if it's a VR light gun, I think that conservative women value that, right? Because they know that I support the Second Amendment. And on top of that, I, I think that what I, what I would probably also try to do is get a red hat, uh, maybe from the Dollar Tree or something, um, and I would turn it backwards. So they would assume it's a MAGA hat, but it's not actually a MAGA hat. It's just a red hat. But what do they know, right? I will make... Those P words, so fucking wet. <laughs> well, actually, since there's only dudes on there, I'll be fucking uh, making them pop so many chubs, like the app will blow up, okay? We'll take it over. But yeah, yeah, if you want some wet P words on the app, you've got to, you know, you've got you've to gotta do more right stuff. But yeah, Jesus Christ, I can't believe I spent that much time on this shit.
Hold up. Hold up. Wet, 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 wet,